Hey guys, HDV here and welcome to a brand new video. Today we've got some more rumours, potential leaks to take a look at for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. Again, these are just rumours, so take them with a massive grain of salt. 99% false most of the time, but you never know. Always fun to speculate and take a look at what we could potentially see in the next generation of games though. So, if you're excited for the video, as always, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes, it really helps out. Leave a comment with your thoughts on any anything we cover in today's video do you think this rumor has any legitimacy to it let me know subscribe if you're brand new ring the notification bell with all of that out of the way though let's get into the video and i really hope that you enjoy so starting things off this is the rumor that we're going to be taking a look at today for pokemon scarlet and pokemon violet uh, again it's not been confirmed as a fake leak yet it just says unverified um, so we don't know it says confirmed fake when we know that it is fake but of course we won't know until I guess the next trailer drops because all of these different rumors and stuff that are popping up all have like different names for the region, different names for the professor, different names for different Pokemon that are apparently popping up. So the next trailer should hopefully debunk most of these, if not all of them. But anyway, uh, they titled this saying, is it a potential new leak from the translation team? Um, so found this post on 4chan and it's probably fake, but I love the idea of a fairy based on Pan's Labyrinth and a rat based on the Spanish flu, a pandemic that happened 100 years ago as a Portuguese. Uh, I loved the region's name as well. What do you think? I mean, I think straight off the bat, if they actually did create a Pokemon based on the Spanish flu, especially with the pandemic that we're literally sitting in right now, I think that definitely would not sit well at all. Um, but either way, let's go on, uh, on what they're uh, saying on this rumor. So, uh, yeah, this is the rumor here. Apparently, it has some legitimacy behind it. We'll have to wait and see. Um, so, they say, Scarlet Violet new information by Buzzwalls Wright. So, first of all, feel free to believe me or not. But as a Pokemon fan, I thought that you would like to know this stuff. I don't believe almost any leak that was posted since the announcement. So, I understand why you wouldn't believe another one. I work for the translation team that's working right now on the next trailer. I suppose it will be live on May, probably around the last two weeks. I don't know much, don't ask me legendaries, new typings, fully explanations about the new gimmicks, or even if we're going to have a new evolution. I only know a few things that's going to be shown on the trailer, and there it goes. So yeah, this person is saying that they work on the translation team, they don't know anything else about the game because they've just been given this trailer to, I guess, translate and work on, so they would only know things um, for the game that are in this supposed new trailer that's coming out in May. But I mean, straight off the bat, if you're saying that you're from the translation team, I don't know about you, but whenever somebody says that they work in this specific part of the, 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 I guess, the team or whatever, it, it, I don't know, you're just kind of shooting yourself in your foot because you're literally saying where you work, so. Um, but yeah, that's apparently how they got this information. So anyway, the region's name is Luzia, or Lu Luzia, probably based on Luso. Referring to Portuguese people, and Luz is light in Portuguese and Spanish. Um, so then the professor is called Clave, based on cla cla claves, claves, Spanish national flowers. Of course, the professors are always named after trees and stuff and, and what have you. So I guess that's where they're coming up with the name from that. Uh, Clave is also key. I don't know if it has some meaning. And then there's five new Pokemon that are going to be revealed in the next trailer, apparently. Um, so the first one is a rat that looks like a Rattata's cousin with huge fangs, normal type, and it's called Fanrato. Uh, that evolves into a bigger purple and brown rat with like a mask on its face. It's a normal poison type based on the Spanish flu. Yeah, I, I just, I don't think Pokemon would make a Pokemon based on, a, on the Spanish flu or a pandemic or something like that. I just think that's really, really like, I don't know, that'd be like crazy to see. It'd just be really like... I don't know, inhuman to do something like that, I guess. And then we're having a little Minotaur type of thing, which is a fairy type Pokemon that looks like that monster from the movie Pan's Labyrinth. Um, so yeah, potential fairy type Minotaur could be on the cards. And then we also have a turtle water slash grass type. It's just a turtle apparently called uh, Morethel. And then a flying type based on the Accor, a huge bird, which I guess would be the regional bird. Um, a huge bird that gives the name to a Portuguese archipelago. Can't really remember the name. On the translation team, but can't remember the name. Always, always fun. Uh, and then uh, forget that leak saying there's no gyms on the cities. The trailer shows two major cities, one inspired by the Parkwell in Barcelona, and at least one gym can be seen. 
Uh, the new gimmick is hinted, just hinted, and it has something to do with the crystal from the Japanese logo. It feels like it's adding a secondary type to moves. I mean, that's literally just saying what we already know. Like, we know that the crystal is in the Japanese logo. We've literally spoke about it so much. And then they're just saying it feels like it's adding a secondary type to moves. Like, that's one of the... I, we think it's something to do with, like, types of Pokemon or changing types or something. So, that ain't anything new. And then there's no mention to new regional forms. And there's also no mention to the legendaries, but the trailer ends with a black, huge bird flying across the sky. Reference to Ho on the first episode of the anime. Yeah, this doesn't sit right with me. This one feels like a big old uh, fat fake uh, rumor to me. But anyway, let's see what the people of Reddit have to say about it. Uh, so for the billionth time, if they say how they know the info, i.e. their jobs or their friend's job, it's fake. No one is that stupid. A Pokemon based on the Spanish flu is also never happening, especially after the pandemic. It's too traumatic for people, same as why we don't have any nuclear Pokemon. I want a normal poison type, but this ain't it. So yeah, that's that's exactly what I was thinking. Like It'd be, it'd be way, way too bad. Like, it'd be crazy a Pokemon to do something like that. And they say, except apparently Ku, who is a real leaker and claims to get his information from someone on the Chinese translation team. I'm not saying this is real. As of right now, it's just another rumor. No one can confirm these rumors fake or legit until trailers drop. There's really no point saying it's fake and listing a reason that doesn't really back you up either, unless it's a lioness diversion. Um, and then we have people saying, no, this is super fake. For someone who works as a translator, they don't have very good spelling. Actually says they work for the translation team. Maybe a janitor is a doorman. Edit, you're right though. Uh, don't ask me about the gimmick. I don't know about the gimmick. Proceeds to talk about the gimmick. Well, to be fair, he says he don't ask me for a full explanation and then proceeds to say he only knows a hint. Still fake, though. Um, the flu pandemic of 1918 is incorrectly called the Spanish flu, but it didn't originate in Spain, nor was it caused by rats. Perhaps it's an allusion to the bubonic plague, but I doubt Game Freak would create a Pokemon with such a background considering world events. 100% this, Nintendo stays away from the controversy and there's no way they'd allow them to make a Pokemon or reference to a past real life pandemic while we're dealing with another one. Especially with the fact that they like cancelled so many um, like um, episodes of the, not like so many, but with episodes of the anime and stuff that, you know, seem to be controversial, they've just kind of like completely cut and they just don't air anymore just simply because of you know, what they potentially could come across as. So, yeah, I don't think they would go out of their way to make a new Pokemon and stuff. I always love how these start with a paragraph saying you can believe me, but you don't have to. But if you're really sure this sounds true, join my fan club. Otherwise, don't bother messaging me. This might be true, but maybe not. Um, so, yeah, it, it doesn't look like this has any kind of legitimacy or relevance or anything like that. It just feels like a big old fat fake rumor that, you know, someone's just created. But um, either way, I don't think this is true at all. There's just way too many kind of, not loopholes, but there's just way too many things that Nintendo or Game Freak just would not do. Um, and I just don't, again, we won't know until trailers drop and stuff, but I don't think we'll be seeing any um, any of these Pokemon anytime soon. That is going to be everything for today's video, though. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. Let's try and hit 500 likes. Again, it really, really helps out. Leave a comment as well. What are your thoughts on this rumor? Again, I don't think it's true, but it's always nice to speculate, and you never know. You, you never know. It could be true. It just could be completely against everything we think, but it could... I guess has a 0.1% chance of being true. But anyway, subscribe if you're brand new. Ring the notification bell for daily Pokemon content. That's everything from me, though. Have a fantastic rest of your day. And until next time, peace.